Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is going to be an episode of Victoria Beckham Lips. I want to share and try with you these new items I got and just create a look with the lip liner, with the lipstick and with her award-winning gloss, which really surprised me and of course became one of my favorites. I only have one color. I have other brands that I have many colors. And of course, now that I love this one, I only have one. We'll see what else I got. Okay, recommendations, suggestions are always welcome. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I would love to have you and share with you and let's continue then. Okay, so first things first, I have the Victoria Beckham number two. This is one of my favorite colors, formula, everything. There it is. It's a little darker than my lips, but a little pinkish, so it lifts me up. It can be very nude. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But now I am really looking forward to getting some more. There's a darker brown, number four, but it's been sold out. So I keep an eye on that. Look at that pretty. Oh. And I want to get number three, which is a little bit more pinkish than this one. Not pinkish. It has a little more pink to it, but it has also a little more red to it. So I think it's a tiny little bit bolder, but pink. We'll see. I haven't ordered it, so why am I talking about it? This one has a lot more brown to it, but this is definitely one of my favorites. And of course, if you like, like the Pillow Talk pencil, you will like their number one. That one is too light for me. Uh, so I'm not interested in that one, but I am interested on number three number four, and even number five, which is kind of a dark brown. It reminds me online, like the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy, which is a great one to have. Like when you wear very nude lipsticks that so you put that brown uh, line, it really helps uh, people that are as spell as me. So this is number two. Look at that. I mean, I just love it. The texture goes smooth. You don't feel it creamy like it's gonna rub up. You barely feel it going on, but it, it does apply smooth. And then it kind of just stays there and it's long lasting, but look at that. I mean, if I start filling my whole lips with this, you will have color throughout. I don't wanna do that because we're applying the lipstick, but this is long lasting, comfortable, doesn't dry. The color is perfect. Ugh. And yes, it's surprising I only have this color. I will be getting the other ones I mentioned. The three, the four, and the five. FYI. Okay, so we're done with that. Now I got like six of her lipsticks. I only have two here, but I want to try Spark at this moment. I think this might be one of my favorites. Um, the two that I have here with me, because I also have the red, the fire, and the pinkies. Oh yeah, this is the fire. Okay, we're not going bold. I have another color of this. Let's see if it's... Um... No, this is Super Ego. That's very pinkish. Um, pout. Okay, I'll swatch pout, because I think these two are the most neutral. This having a little more color. But you can just paw it, like like that, mm. or you can really do the lipstick thing. I think with this one, and that is the trend now, I think the trend started, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, with Westman Atelier, that she came out with her line, like a rocket, and all she described was, you put a little bit here, a little bit there, this whole, potting just little pieces and your fingers are with the thing or with I saw her and then out of the sudden now everything is like that you pound even the blush the cream the powder the foundation everything and now it's just do, 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 do. I think Victoria Beckham was in that train as well 
uh, because she applies her makeup like that. So let me just swatch. So this is Spark. That's Spark. And this is number two. <clears throat> What's with my boys? Okay. And then I'm just going to swatch for you this pout one. Now, if you want me to do a video on the other two bolder colors, let me know. I will, or eventually I will. Um, see, this is a little more softer, a little more peachy, but lighter. And then this is Spark. So I like Spark better because it gives me some color. Usually more color uplifts me. But you saw the color of the lip liner. Once I apply that and then I can apply um, this pout, it will look beautiful, especially if I add the gloss. Um, so I'm really happy I got this, especially with the lip liners I'm trying to get, which are darker. I think this is going to just look beautiful because what Victoria Beckham does, what I've been noticing is obviously she lines up, but then when she applies the lipstick, uh, she allows this very in the center, the lighter colors. So then it makes the appearance of your lips fuller. I'm not totally in that wagon just because a little more color helps me and my coloring. So it's just different in preference and what works for the person, right? Uh, but just FYI, I'm very happy I got this too. And probably I'll be getting more. What, what doesn't work for me is more brown. There's these browns that look beautiful for medium skin or uh, that little tan look and that, that beige sort of lips. That's not me and my coloring, but that looks gorgeous as well. It looks gorgeous on Victoria Beckham, obviously. Anyhow, so there you have it. There's the differences. There is a difference. Okay, so I like Spark for me, my favorite for natural. Look at that. Oh, mm, mm. Of course, this red helps. This is the Lisa Eldridge <laughs> sweatshirt. <laughs> Love it. I have the gray. And in her side, she has a burgundy one, which I don't know when it came out because it says sold out. Uh, but I can't believe I missed it. Ah! All right. As soon as it comes out, if you hear about it, let me know. I want it. Okay. So again, a war binning gloss. And this is on Hungalo, Bungalow. That's the one I got. I will be getting more of this. Okay. Let's see why I like it so much. I kind of forgot that's what happens on my age. Okay. So. Mm, glossy. It's gloss. Glossy. All right. So there's other glosses that feel very oily. So that's the warmth of the oil. That's nice. There's some glasses that are light and kind of cover your whole lips don't have that amount of reflection, it look more like wet, okay? And then there's this. It wraps your lips, it feels good. It doesn't feel warm like an oil, but you do see it going on like this without, and this is with. And I think the trend is coming for the spring and summer girls, which is very glossy lips. You know, the shine sort of thing, not the matte. Of course, there's preference for everything, but I think this is the trend. I mean, I tried out the Cledipo new colors and they have the mattes and they have the shiny. The shiny are shiny, you know, like, kind of um, Marilyn Monroe red lips when it's like mm, shiny spilling out of the whole lips sort of thing. That's the Chinese coming. I really like them. I couldn't decide the color and they didn't have the newest shades. So I didn't buy uh, any of the Cledipo, uh glosses or lipsticks with gloss or the ones that come wet. But I will be getting eventually, eventually. However, uh, going back to this glass, I really like it. I really, really like it. Let's swatch it, right? Oh my God. I mean, there you go. 
beautiful, beautiful. It looks very like this color, right? Which is not the one I apply. I apply this one. This is Pout. It looks exactly the color. I apply this one, but I love it because that darker color underneath gives me the color I need. And then the gloss kind of limits it a little bit, but gives that glossiness. I mean, look, if you wanna see comparison, I just did a video, my previous video. I am wearing the Guerlain lipstick and it's a medium rose. If you wanna compare how I look there and how I look here, you probably can see just the poster. Um, oh, how much a good lipstick, good lips or a China lips makes a difference on a look. I mean, ugh. and I did apply Victoria Beckham, the lid lusters. So I have a little sparkly in my eyelid. So it kind of, <laughs> you can use one or the other, yes. But I just love it. All right, perhaps it's that I hadn't done my makeup in a couple of days. And once you put your makeup, you're like, oh my God, what a difference. <laughs> so that's about today. If you have any of the other glasses, colors that you recommend for my skin coloring, let me know. And let me know if you have it. I mean, it's a war winning. What is it, a lure? Well, I agree. I love it. I love it. And so, yeah, let me know. It's surprising because I don't hear a lot of it in in YouTube or in social media. I really don't. I mean, I do see the advertisement and all, but I don't hear enough and I really like it. That is it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell on the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos and I will see you next time. Bye bye.